This is a workflow showing idea to final product. First, we identify which products can be sustainably produced by cell factories. We choose to develop a therapeutic protein. That is a human monoclonal antibody for the treatment of several types of cancer. We primarily work with three host organisms. Now we select the host organism that is best suited to produce the wanted product. Since Cho cells look very similar to human cells, they are the best candidate of the three. Using advanced computational methods, researchers can predict bottlenecks and optimal conditions for production. The predictions imply which genes should be knocked out and which should be inserted in order to make the cell produce the wanted product. In this case, inserting a human gene makes the Cho cell capable of producing a human antibody for pharmaceutical use. The protein backbone is being folded into the final well-defined shape and modifications are being added to the protein as it matures into the functional antibody. We use advanced analytical methods to verify that the cells are producing a product of the desired quality. In this case, quantification of the product reveals that large amounts of human antibodies are produced by the cell line. Now, scientists cultivate the highest yielding cell lines in a bioreactor. In the cultivation process, the cells grow and divide to generate large amounts of antibodies. Then we want to separate the cells from the liquid that contains the product. This is done using a centrifuge. Next, the product is purified in a column. The antibody binds to the beads in the column while contaminants flow through. Finally, the product is flushed from the column. The antibody is being formulated into an approved pharmaceutical and can now be used to treat patients suffering from cancer.